Hello guys and welcome to uh, Europa Universalis 4, or let's play Europa Universalis 4 more accurately, the demo. Uh, so this demo was quite recently released on Steam, actually quite to my surprise, I didn't really know that there was going to be a public demo. I knew there was going to be a demo, but I thought that demo was going to be like only for people with like special permission from Paradox or something like that. So this kind of caught me off guard, I wasn't really prepared for this. Which is kind of why my uh, gameplay of this comes a little bit later than it probably should have. Um, there's already a bunch of like let's plays on on the YouTubes, but um, I don't know. Oh well, you know, stuff like that happens. Um, it has happened before, and it will most likely happen again. So this is a demo, so th and that means that we can only start in a certain year, and that is 1492, and we can only play as one of four nations, or we can play as all of them, but only one of them at once. Uh, so I did a little bit of um, searching around the YouTube to try and figure out what nation to play as, and um, I found that the nations that were played the most uh, throughout the YouTube were... I, I saw like major Let's Plays for both the Ottomans, Austria, and Portugal. I did see some Let's Plays for Venice as well, but not, not in like... There weren't as many uh, of Venice as there was Let's Plays of uh, the other nations. So I decided, fuck it, let's go for Venice. Venice is quite interesting. I've never actually played as a Merchant Republic before in this game. Because the trade system in these games, or in Europe Universal, is never really... Um, I don't know, I never really found it to be too interesting. Simply because it was uh, very confusing. And I, I, have I have played a little bit of this game. Uh, f like when I ended up downloading the demo. To sort of try and learn the basics. I, I did of course play quite a bit of the previous game, Europe Universalis 3. Although this game is kind of different, so uh, that's kind of why I decided to do, the, the, do that. Yep. So why don't we just get into the game, and then I'll explain more later. Or explain more once we get in. Oh, that was fast. I guess that's what you get when you have a sol solid state memory. That's very cool. I like it. So this is our starting position. I haven't actually played as Venice before, though. Well, you, well, that's actually a lie. I did play as Venice, because I, I played the trade uh, tutorial that you get in the game. And that basically makes you play as Venice. Um, so... But I didn't actually, like, play any real things, though. So, uh, so let's take a look. So we start out with an army of 15,000. Of course, European Universalis is a little bit different from uh, Crusader Kings in the way that the, the men in an army are represented in, you know, one number per thousand man, rather than, um, you know, one number per man. So you cannot have, like, armies of one dude, or I guess you can, strictly speaking, but yeah, not, not in the same way at least, so. So that's something. Uh, we do not have any leader. Oh yes, we do actually have a leader, we just need to put him in place. Uh, another thing I'm going to say, I'm not going to... I don't think this is going... This this little mini Let's Play of mine, it's not going to be... I'm not going to go around like explaining everything and explaining how everything works and that kind of stuff. I'm going to leave that to more... to videos more dedicated to doing, you know, just that. I guess I can go over a couple of basic things though. So we have our different menus here. Our government, we are currently a Merchant Republics, which um, gives us some bonuses. Most of them related to trade, which makes sense. Um, we also get uh, Republican Tradition, which gives us some bonuses. That's really cool. And one thing I don't know though, I don't know if other nations with different government forms gain different kinds of traditions. I never really paid attention to that. So this is our current uh, diplomatic ad administ no. administrative, diplomatic and military power, which you can use to, s to you know buy different things. Basically things that don't cost gold. For example, you can recruit like generals with the military power in this game. Or like uh, in Europe Universalis 3, you you recruit the generals with uh, money, which was a, a much worse system in my opinion. Because, for example, if you played as Modena, then you had pretty much no chance of recruiting a general because it was so expensive that your economy there was no way your economy could support it basically. So I, I really like that change. Um, so yeah. We have some national decisions available. We can formalize scales, weights, and measures, which increases tax. I guess we just want to go ahead and do that straight away. Sweet. No mission selected. I guess we want to select the mission then. Okay, so we can improve our prestige, improve relations with Mantua, or conquer Cremona. That sounds nice. I want to conquer stuff. Conquest is always... Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, uh, but it's Cremona. That's in the Holy Roman Empire, isn't it? Yep, it is. And basically, if you try and declare war on anything within the Holy Roman Empire, um, there's a good chance that the Emperor, in this case Austria, is going to come in support. And since I am border Austria, 
I feel that declaring war on the current controller over Cremona, um, which is um, Milan, is going to be quite the bad idea. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's instead um, improve relations with Mantua. What? Where is Mantua? Mantua. That's this little nation here. Okay. Uh, what can we do? Yeah, sure. Let's improve. Or, hmm. Okay, yeah, because I don't really know how I can improve my prestige. That's kind of difficult, isn't it? It's going to take a while to get that up. So let's just... Uh, oh, wow. 100. That's quite a lot. But let's try it anyways. Just just to have something to do. Uh, select this mission. Yeah, we'll do that. Improve relations. Okay, cool. I get three prestige! Wow! So amazing! Anyways, let's keep going through here. So um, our economy is pretty good. I mean, we are a trade republic, so we gain quite a decent chunk of money from trade. I guess I can quickly go over the trade map one, because this is quite interesting, because this is a very new feature from uh, from uh, the old game. It basically allows you to have a lot more control. So, I'm, no, I'm not even close to being an expert on trade. Trade has always been one of those things in Europe, the, you know, the Europe Universalis series in general, that I never really have uh, do, you know, developed a good understanding for. But from, from what I understand, I believe how kind of things work is that you can basically... Um, basically how things work is that if you have... Hmm, you can send your merchants to people... You can send merchants to these trade nodes and then you can either ask them to, you know, extract money from that particular area or you can ask them to sort of take trade away from a certain area and put it somewhere else. For example, you can see me, I have a, I have a merchant of, in the start of the game in Alexandria who takes trade value away from Alexandria and sends it up here um, through the Adriatic Sea and into Venice, which makes the, the uh, trade node here more valuable. Same thing would apply for Ragusa, which also has the same thing happening with the fact that I have merchant there sending trade away from this one over to Venice. Of course, this is really cool, although it's, it's a little limiting, for example, because you can only do trade in certain ways that the game has sort of pre-decided for you. For example, um, let's see here. For example, if I wanted to gain trade from the Americas, then I don't really understand how I'm going to make that happen, simply because there are really no trade, there are no trade uh, nodes or trade routes or whatever you want to call them that goes from the Americas over to um, over to Venice which is um, of course a problem um, so of course I the thing though I don't really haven't understood quite yet because I know you can because I have a merchant here who's basically taking value from this trade node and giving it into my putting it in my treasury basically so I know that's a thing but what I don't really understand is that can I, for example, take a merchant in Alexandria and do the same thing? Or and, or can I, for example, do the same thing in uh, Sevilla? Can I extract value directly from the trade node? Or do I have to redirect trade from this trade node into this trade node? Which is not actually possible, though, so it's a bad example. But anyways, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Transfer trade power. Send merchants to transfer trade power. So let's just, uh, I'm going to recall this guy, this merchant right here, just to experiment a little bit, to see how things work. I'm going to recall him. He'll return home. Okay, so I can collect from trade here. Must be in range. Okay. Just wait 10 days to get him back. Okay, so if I, I can transfer, which, so what I used to do, I transfer trade from this area into this area but if I collect here okay so collect from trade will use your trade power to withdraw income your capital your capital permanently collects trade your capital permanently collects from trade and sending a merchant will improve the trade power you can collect trade from a trade in any other node but as from any other node, but as long as your merchant is present. Okay, uh, that didn't really learn me much. Let's just try it though. Let, no, should I? I guess I can't. No, I can't have two merchants in one place. Okay, let's just try it here then. 
If I collect from trade here and put this guy in here, what will that actually do? Will that give me any money? Oh, and a lines offer from Flounders. I have a bad feeling about that. Aren't they the ones? Yeah, they're the ones currently revolting against Austria. So nope, I'm not gonna accept that. I don't want to get in conflict with Austria. Um, I learned that by the way from playing some previous games. You can see here, they are currently at war with Austria, which is bad. I should probably send a diplomat to Austria to improve relations. That sounds fun. Uh, relations, I improve relations, because I want to make sure that the Austrians never declare war on me. Because if they do, then I'm fucked. You know. As simple as that. Uh, what shall I do with my other guy? I want to. I, I should fabricate some claims. Let's fabricate claim on Ragusa, because there's currently. A, I, w I would love to take control over this trade node here. I don't know if that actually gives you any actual advantages, but eh, what do I know? Let's just. Let's just. Let's try and see what it actually does. So, yeah, that's in here. Fabricate claim. Ragusa. Okay. Sweet. We also have a missionary that which we need to use. Uh, so religiously, okay, so we have three provinces that is not our religion. I guess we can also see that in the religion tab. Yeah, we, can, we have these three provinces, so Corfu would take the shortest time. I guess that's because it's the least valuable province, or at least the least populous province. So, let's just do that. Let's just um, send our guide to Corfu. Because... Because uh, this campaign is most likely not going to be too long, for the simple reason that I only have so much hard drive space. And you cannot, since this is a demo, you cannot actually save your game and then load it later on. So I kind of want to make sure that I get the most out of this while I'm doing it. So let's send our guy to Corfu. Yeah, sure. Sounds fun. Okay, that worked out. Uh, fuck, what should I do now? Uh... Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, I was experimenting with trade. Uh, trade, trade, trade. And that's another thing. If you, um, if you guys, if anybody here in the comments or if anybody watching this have any like, who anybody here actually understand how this trade stuff works, then please leave, please leave it in the comments because I am very much retarded when it comes to um, how it comes to this trade business. I really don't understand much on how this works. Uh, leave. Okay, okay, that's. Interesting, Ragusa. So, incoming. Local, so that's basically the trade value that's being generated locally. That's what is incoming from places such as Alexandria. And this is the uh, outgoing, which is things that are getting sent elsewhere, for example, to Venice. And that, that brings the total value to this place. So, so that's something. The thing I haven't understood though, like where can I see how much money I earn? So I earn... The merchant collects this much money. Out of this they manage to create an income of... Okay, that's kind of interesting. So I get more money than I actually um, collect. Weird, but fine by me. So now that there's no, no longer as much trade going from this trade node to this trade node, what, how did that affect my other trade node? Yeah, the value just went down. So I'm, uh, this is an interesting experiment though, so let's take a look at my current, the amount of money I'm gaining here. Transport this much. Upstream, that doesn't make any sense. Ven Venice. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I'm earning the most here. So I'm earning, I'm earning this much. I have income of 35% of... Uh, oh, no, this is just bonus. Okay. Merchants, they collect that much money. Austria. Upstream. I don't really know how that works. Eh, whatever. Because there's no way to transport money away from Venice. There's no trade route going away from Venice. Only only trade routes going into Venice. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and go into... So now I earn this much money. So if I take my merchant over here, I recall him, let the game go a little bit, and then I make him transfer trade. This guy transfer trade. Yeah, he needs. He takes a couple of time, a little bit of, a little while to get there, and then I make him take the trade that way. 
how much money yeah that made made this worth more so how much money do I now earn so I think I earn a little bit more money from you know redirecting the trade in my the direction that I want it to be than I earn just collecting it locally I think that's how it works I'm not sure if anybody knows how this all you know how all this works then please please comment in the comment section because I would love to know. But anyways, I should just stop derping around with trade. Even though that's quite a big part of this. Playing as a merchant, Repu merchant republic and all. But still. Okay, so this is our navy. So uh, let's go ahead and use this one. Let's go ahead and um, start protect trade. Because that basically just improves our trade power in the region. Uh, I believe I did it correct there. Uh, yep, I did. Send to Venice to collect trade. Or just to protect it in general, I guess. That's just going to ooh, an alliance from Switzerland. There shouldn't be too much risk going into an alliance with Switzerland, because the Swiss are known for their not going to war policy. So, sure. I'll ally you, Switzerland. That sounds like a good idea. Nobody else than Switzerland has claims on them anyway, so there's a good chance that Switzerland will stay peaceful. And maybe they can support me, support me with some truce. By the way, well, how did my money increase so the actual value didn't really um, didn't really increase whatsoever but light chips okay so I need light chips to do that but how local okay so I earn yeah so that just basically buffed up my income I believe it was at something something around three I think I think it was I have no idea or I do have a sort of idea but yeah you get the idea Idea, 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 idea. Anyways, how is the uh, fabrication coming along? We have n we have yet to gain a um, a core or anything close to that. So, or not not a core, a claim. So, I guess we're just gonna sit around and not do not do much. Let's see if there's any anything we can spend our points on. And we also have some free advisors left. Let's get some uh, some advisors. And uh, oh wow, they're kind of expensive, but I guess I can afford it. I have a bunch of money. More tax, um, I don't think that's too, too valuable. It actually is, I, the majority of my income is actually from tax. So, okay. Oh, I should uh, take that army maintenance. There's no purpose to having that that high when, I, uh, not in, when I'm not at war. So I'm going to bring it up to half, because I'm, I'm going to go to war soon against Ragusa. So I want to make sure I have some morale. Free the Icer slots, okay. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, more trade power, diplomatic reputation, it's pretty cool. And what the? 94 gold and 5.9 monthly. Are you serious? 200 and... Wow, I don't even... 13, that's more than I earn. And I'm Venice, goddammit. Wow. Okay, never mind then. Fuck advisors. I mean, I am not even sure if this guy is going to be able to pay for himself, because he is he costs this much monthly, and I don't know if his bonus is going to be enough to actually pay for his upkeep. So I guess this is more of a thing for bigger nations. But uh, inflation reduction is good though, but I don't actually have... I haven't taken any loans though, so that shouldn't be necessary. Stability cost though, that's nice. It's kind of expensive, but I do want to have some stability. Yeah, that's something I can invest my points in, so let's just take him. Yeah. And let's get our stability up. Ah, uh, now where do I do that? Ah, uh, you have no idea. Ah, uh, oh, whoa, 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 Corfu. They are like super likely to. Oh, I guess it's because of the whole. So I can do a harsh treatment um, against these people. But I guess, what would that do? Minimum revolt risk. So I could kill off the revolt risk efficiently. What's the revolt risk over here? Uh, both of these are not that big, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not too worried about it at the moment. This one, on the other hand, is quite bad. So I might want to go ahead and enact some policies here. Harsh treatment. Yeah, sure. Let's do harsh treatment. <laughs> sounds, sounds about right. Okay, good. Other than that, um, let's keep the game going again. How long have I haven't been recording for now? Nope, still, still some time to keep recording a little bit, so that's fine. 
But yeah, stability, that, that was what I was doing. I want to go ahead and increase my stability. Here we go, boost. Oh, I don't even have enough power. It costs administrative points. What do I need to increase technology? I need uh, administrative points, yeah. Wow, this is a difficult choice. Do I want do it like do I want to save up for um, for technology or do I want to boost my stability? Because stability can be sort of a, more of a temporary thing. Ah, here we go. The um, Kessa says I have no idea. I'm 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 giving up. I give up on pronouncing that of church functions. Noble families were often granted control over church lands and appointments were made in many states in exchange for cash contributions to the crown's efforts. The crown, of course, lost control over some revenues this way in exchange for a short-term boost in revenue. I can gain a bunch of money, but I can lose a bunch of tax uh, money. No. Or I can lose stability. Uh, both, of these are, both of these are quite terrible and not positive in any way. Wow, losing that tax efficiency or national tax of modifiers really is going to be really bad. Really bad indeed. Because this is not something that's going to, you know, help me out in the long run. But stability, though, is bad. Because that's also going to hurt my economy, but I can, I, I should be able to quite quickly get that up again. I guess I'm just going to accept this. Fuck it. That's going to kill off my income, but... But I won. How can I, by the way, get more merchants? I want to get more merchants. Uh, I guess you can use technology. Let's take a look at this. Uh, ideas. Trade ideas. Trade power. Here you go. Free trade. So, yeah, I need diplomatic power to unlock these. Okay, so I guess I need to save up them to unlock these trade ideas. I, w I want to get to this one. I want to get more merchants so I can start controlling more trade and stuff. Speed up the game a little bit. How are we doing in Ragusa? Nope, still no claim. Uh, we are still fab we are currently fabricating. And by the way, I should really I should stop improving relations with the um, with the um, this guy or with Austria that is, and I should do it with the Modena instead. For yeah, wow, that was a terrible mixture between <laughs> English and Norwegian. Instead and for no. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and improve my relations with these guys instead, because I believe that's my mission. To improve relations with Mantra. I should do some other things as well. Let's try and uh, get an alliance. They will indeed do that. And I don't have another diplomat. Wow, really now? Okay, stop the relations improvement then. And then uh, let's get an alliance. Yep, that worked. Okay, let's try and get a... Uh, dynastic action. Let's get a royal marriage. Not yet then, I need to wait for my... Oh! We are not... Well, since we're not a monarchy, we cannot do royal marriages, that's a problem. What's our relations with them at the moment? Alliance. That should fi That should succeed our mission. Did we just succeed? It said we wanted to have 50, and we do have 50. Oh, no, we need 100. Okay, never mind. Uh, my, my bad. Mm, yep, okay. Fuck it. Let's just go ahead and do, um... Is pro Proclaiming Guarantee... Is that going to um, help our relations? Let's try. Uh, nope, that didn't do anything. Okay, fuck it. Let's just uh, improve our relations then. Uh, we recently sent a diplomat. We cannot send a diplomat until next year. Okay. We learned about this place. Okay, so you can see, this is quite interesting, though. Because the fact that the Spanish and the Portuguese are... Um, no, Spain. I thought this was Castile. I guess they have formed Spain by now. <laughs> you can see that these guys are currently exploring down here. So eventually they will explore the sea route around Africa. And that's really going to be a problem for us. Because if you look at trade power here... Let's go to trade map mode. Uh, you can see that the, currently there's no trade being transported... Uh, just this trade, okay, there's a little bit trade, actually. Uh, I don't know how that all works out, but anyways. So currently, there's no real, there's not really any trade going around the coast of Africa. Um, but because there's really, this, this place hasn't been discovered yet. But once it gets discovered, then a, a lot of the trade that originates over here is going to 
transport around Africa instead. And that's going to be really bad for us because we cannot benefit from this trade because there's no trade routes that go that goes from this particular area into our capital or whatever. So then we are going to have to try and establish some colonies or whatever over here in order to try and, you know, convince the traders that they are still going to use this trade route here. Or we can just, um, I guess, start collecting trade from over here. But our trade power is going to be quite limited in this particular area. Because, yeah, but that's the thing though, I still haven't figured out what actually determines trade power. So, I can't really do anything about that. The missionaries is coming along. Come on, Ragusa. Why you no, know, um, why you no know succeed? I guess we're just gonna have to sit around. Oh, there you go! We have Conquest Kansas Bell against Ragusa. Fuck yeah. R Ragusa is not a part of the Holy Roman Empire. No, they're not even close. Okay, awesome. Let's um, take a look at their diplomatic situation. Currently, they are improving relations. Uh, their enemies is Montenegro. Okay, I don't know how this works though. Can I, like, declare someone to be my rival? Uh, my enemies is Aragon for some reason. Choose a new rival from the list to the right. Oh, I can just choose a rival? What advantages would I gain from that? Okay, against the rival we have the following benefit. More likely to get alliance with their enemies. More prestige. Oh. So I guess selecting Ragusa as a rival would be a good thing. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Ragusa, where's Ragusa? Ragusa, Ragusa. I am bad at pronouncing, ah, uh, halala. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, um... Ah, uh, I'm sh... I have a feeling like I've... Let's do, uh, enemies. There we go, no. Argon is more in a way. Neighbors, then. Here we go, Ragusa. Let's declare them a rival. Yeah, diplomatic points, but that's fine. Uh, improving relations... Yeah, these are my alliances. And Ragusa didn't have any alliances from all I could see. They are currently improving relations with people, but they're not actually allied to anyone. Why are they improving relations with Mantra? It's weird. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how this all works out, but anyways. Doesn't matter. Um, let's start transporting our guys. Where's my boats? I sent them to, like, like, like protect the trade. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to detach. No, that's not what I'm going to do. That's stupid. I'm going to put them back into power. Then I'm going to stop that. Create a new unit. I'm going to take all my light ships, like, and put them all in a in their own little navy, like so. I'm going to select this unit and this particular navy. It's going to protect the trade in Venice. Like so. And then the other navy, that'll be this one, I believe. Yep. We'll go back to the homeland and try and... Um, can I actually walk over there? Nope, I cannot. Do not have military access. So I might as well use the... when I, act, I actually have a navy, so I might as well use the fact that I have one. Ah, my di diplomat has arrived. That's fine. I can ah, I can spend my diplomat now. Let's do, the, let's do just that. Let's um, keep improving our relations, I guess. Yeah, sounds about... seems about right. I need... I mean, I want them to do something. Or I guess, you know what? I'm actually going to save him, because I need him to declare war if I'm not completely mistaken. Okay, let's put him over here. And I shall attach the transport. Send them over into Dal Dalmatia. Dalmatia, I don't know how you pronounce that perfectly. Send him back to Venezia. Venice. Ven Ven Venezia. I have no idea how you perfectly say that. That shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody though. Everybody here knows that my pronunciation of pretty much anything is terrible. Um, I have a general. Okay, so now we are ready. Let's go ahead and boost the... Um, boost the morale of our troops. Let's see. Military... There we go. No, that's an economy. Here we go. Get army maintenance up. Yeah, you can see we earn a lot less money now because of that penalty we got a couple of years back, I believe, so... Uh, oh no! The Ottomans are trying to fabricate claims on uh, on Corfu. That's really lame, actually. I'm 
Because I'm investing a lot of money in the Corfu now to convert it. It would really be a lame thing if they, the Ottomans just came along and just destroyed me. Uh, and they hate me. Holy shit, they hate me. I have Cassus Billy. Really, you have a Cassus Billy against me? Oh, you have a claim on Corfu. Yeah, you do. Oh, shit. I guess it's only a question of time then. Before the Ottomans comes along and it starts fucking up our shit. It's not good at all. Uh, but I guess we'll uh, leave the, um, the excitement of that tension or whatever you want to call it to the next episode. So I'll end the episode right here. So thank you so much for in this episode of Europa Universalis 4, playing as Venice. Or let's play Europa Universalis 4 more accurately. Uh, playing as Venice. Uh, demo. That was... All of that was kind of in bad, in a bad, um, what, what's the word again? I should just stop talking before I embarrass myself in f further. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.